If you're new to diving, there are a few common mistakes that newbie divers often do. So to save you some embarrassment, we've created a quick list on 10 mistakes that newbie divers make. Number one, leaving your cylinder stood upright. All around the world, this is an automatic beer fine. In that, if your instructor sees your cylinder standing up by itself, you now owe them a drink. A cylinder upright by itself is easy to knock over and incredibly heavy. So if it falls over, it's going to break whatever it lands on, usually your foot or someone else's regulator. Number two, not preparing your mask. You will quickly get into a routine of preparing your mask before every dive. But most divers, when they first start out, will end up with a foggy mask not long after they've jumped into the water. With a quick application of some kind of defog solution and washing your mask out when you first get into the water, as well as a quick splash of water on your face, can definitely help prevent any kind of fogging up. Number three, not wearing the right amount of exposure protection. A lot of first timers will get out of the water and say how cold they are. The only reason you're cold is because you're not wearing the right amount of exposure protection. Now while it is hard to recommend what thickness suit you need to wear at any given temperature, all you need to do is look at your instructor or guide and see what kind of suit they're wearing. Of course you also need to take into account how much you feel the cold to go for a thicker or thinner wetsuit. Number four, taking too much kit. We know it's exciting to buy your own kit, all of which you can buy at our website simplyscuba.com, but you don't have to take it all on the dive with you at once. Instead of being laden with reels, torches, slates and cameras, just try to take the essentials that you need for that dive. Because when you're covered in gear, it takes you away from the dive. You're also more likely to lose or damage your gear too. But if you do happen to damage your equipment, that's fine. Just head over to our website, simplyscuba.com, to buy a replacement. Number five, not releasing your cylinder. On many dive boats to stop your cylinder falling over, most of them are tied into position on the dive deck. Most first timers will remember to turn their air on and put on all of their gear. They're all ready to get going, only to realize that they can't stand up because their cylinder is literally tied to the bench. After you've turned your air on, just remember to undo that little knot so that you can stand up and actually go for the dive. Number six, straining on the surface. Decades of research and development has created a wonderful piece of equipment called the BCD. When you're on the surface, you don't want to be swimming away to keep your heavy gear from sinking, so just inflate your BCD. It's what it's there for. You literally go diving with an inflatable life jacket every dive you go on. So save your legs and just push that little button to float comfortably on the surface. Number seven, thinking that you're better than you actually are. Being nervous before a dive is perfectly natural and you need to maintain this caution even after you're qualified. Your confident levels will rise sharply just after you're qualified, but don't forget to respect your limits. There is an actual name for this phenomenon. It's called the Dunning-Kruger effect, and you need to stay out of that top end of the bell curve, as that's where people get hurt. Number eight, not checking your gauges enough. Beginner divers will only check their gauges when their instructor asks them to. You need to be checking your gauges frequently and monitor the changes so that you can work out how quickly you're breathing your gas. Check your gauges once every five minutes or so, or every time you've just seen something interesting. That way you can never be surprised when you've run out of air. Number nine, diving when you feel sick. Nobody's going to be forcing you to dive. If you don't feel well or you're not up for the dive, just say so. It's not high school, there's no peer pressure. Just be sure to tell the dive guide or the rest of the boat that you're not going in, so they know not to look for you in the water. The only downside to not going in for a dive is that the chances of your buddy seeing something ultra rare increases exponentially. So you might not see that unicorn dolphin, but your buddy will keep talking about it. And number 10, walking around in fins. 
This one is always funny to watch, but almost always ends with someone in tears. Walking around the boat can be hard enough, even at the best of times, let alone when you're wearing 20 kilograms of cylinder on your back. And especially if you decide to put your fins on on the far side of the boat from where you're actually getting in on. Most fins aren't designed to be walked around in, and unless you have size 27 feet, you don't know what it's like to have massive feet, unless of course you're a professional clown. We advise not to walk around in fins, but if you have to, of course we recommend doing it sideways or backwards. Now us divers are a friendly bunch, so if you have any questions or worries, just ask and one of us will be able to help and answer your questions. If you do have any questions, or know of any more funny mistakes that newbie divers make, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and safe diving. Also don't forget to hit that like, share and subscribe button.